Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we have several physique updates to look at today, including one from this guy, Brandon Curry. Is this a physique update? If you guys don't follow Goat Fitness YouTube channel, go over there, follow him. He, uh, he posted this video here, and Brandon Curry, he posted this. And he, he put a question mark. Is this from this year or last year or when? When? Man, oh man, he keeps us wondering if this is this year. What do you guys think? So let's just pretend this is from this year. Goat says he thinks it is. I think it is. I think it is. Is that the same underwear as he had on last year? I don't know. Looks like the 2019 size. That type of form. Look at the size of the arms. So if this is new, if Brandon Curry, already guys, he's twice as big, big, twice as good as he was at the Arnold Classic. And that's why I think a lot of people were counting this guy out because of his, I don't want to call it subpar performance. That's disrespectful. But it just, he just wasn't, wasn't the 100% Brandon Curry that we're used to seeing him at the Arnold Classic. So this here... Brandon Curry, this could eliminate the question of who is going to get the silver medal. It could be going to Brandon Curry. Not only that, but he could challenge Big Ramy. What the heck? Could Ian Valier challenge Big Ramy? Could he win the Olympia title this year? Could he get into the top six? It's getting into a desperate situation, guys. I mean, pitchers, videos are dropping. William Bonax is, is Nick Walker's. I mean, is there going to be room for an Ian Valier? in that top spot look at the gams if you will take a gander at these gams and these are some good gams to gander at i'm telling you right now that's a tongue twister and a half but yeah yeah for those of you who are not keen on seeing ian valier getting into that top six top seven position could be a situation where you're going to be disappointed this guy is incredible he is looking shredded never seen him look so big with this type of condition this type of low body fat before and here, here here's an interesting part and here's a, a funny little jig to the video here's a side lag of ian valier incredible right well i i think it is i think it's just unbeatable virtually unbeatable because samson dowda he he must have been watching he must have been watching so he released a photo you know what i mean he's at his house he probably was on his computer and seen the picture of ian ian and he knows how tight this situation's gonna be to get into them top spots he figured hmm i'm gonna slap on a picture of my own and show ian valier what for and who has the best gams around good quad good quad but look at the far lag you can even see some diced shredded hamstrings coming out of uh coming out of samson Dota. but yeah yeah you know who else wanted to join in on the fun? Seen both of those pictures? You guys know who this is? It's Griffin. Charles Griffin. He figured that he would also jump in on the action because he's another dude. I mean, there's all kinds of other guys. Blessings. We don't have any idea how Lunsford is going to look. I mean, Hollingshead, if he comes on all guns blazing, could be trouble for all of these guys. But I like the looks of this dude here, Charles Griffin. Wow, talk about that granite look. I mean, sure, granted, there's a lot of bodybuilders with that type of look, but have you ever once seen a guy that big, that hard, that grainy, conditioned, massive, that can just hold that vacuum pose with such control? This is perhaps the best vacuum pose in the open class today. And there's a few other ones too. You can't uh, mention the vacuum without mentioning. Blessing also has a good one. But this guy here, I like the odds of uh, Charles Griffin to not get overlooked this year. So here's hoping. And we're going to finish this video off with a, just a quick picture of good Vito Vitale Yugolnikov. This dude here is going to be, he's going to be the, the story of 2023 i'm telling you right now now why isn't he going to be the story of 2022 he's competing november 3rd i believe third fourth or fifth it must be a three-day show things of that nature but anyway it's not even to get a uh, a pro card yet 
So he has to compete for that show, which he'll win, I'm sure. And then he has to compete again the November 23rd. So he's competing twice in November, if I'm not mistaken. A little bit confusing, but I believe that is the way she goes. Not enough time to get another uh, show in to get a ticket to the Olympia. So here is hoping for 2023. This guy is going to be on fire. Vitaly Yugulnikov could be the future of the IFBB. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And don't forget, have a great night.